Hello, it's Dominique. I want to share with you a project I just finished. I'm very happy about it. Um, I just had uh, the box with the uh, the cards in it. Uh, that I, is the, the previous video. Uh, this is in the same uh, paper collections and journaling cards. So those are the salvage district journaling cards. They have 45 sheets or cards I should say. 15 designs, three of each. So I took one of each for the box with the interactive uh, cards in it. And I took another one of each, pretty much there are a couple left, for this other project that I'm going to show you. Also I used the Rose Quartz paper pads from Prima, both of them are from Prima. And uh, they were matching so well that uh, I decided to, um, to use them together. Because uh, everything is pretty much very, very, uh, they probably were inspired by one of the two to design the other one. So here's a project, it's a book, it's not an album, it's a book, I have some interactive uh, covers inside. So it's a book for, as you can see, a lot of pages here for the uh, for journaling, they are three signatures with hardcover, a hard I mean with a uh, heavyweight chipboard, I mean a heavyweight cardstock. And um, so I use uh, the paper collection here the, the, with the roses. I use this card, the same card I had used on the box because I really like this card. So I keep it for the cover. And I kind of put it diagonally and then I cut the corners because it was too big. And I, did, I could not cut anything like to make it smaller. So I only cut the corners. Put some links and flowers and uh, here's this little bottle. And inside, I don't know if you can see, but there are some star shape. This is a center of a flower that my mother had a plant at her house a few years ago. This must be like 25 years old. Those um, little, I don't know if they're seeds, but they're kind of like a little star shape flower, whatever. So anyways, I thought it would be perfect to put in there, in that little bottle. Because lately I've been using those little bottles for the cover and I said, okay, people can put something they like in it, either sand or could be uh, like a, feather, a bird's feather or something, but I thought this would be really nice. Here I used uh, the cover, I used some um, burlap and I used some bling that I bought at my dollar store. And another card, this is a card from the paper collection with some uh, cheesecloth underneath, same cheesecloth here. And I made this big plate uh, chipboard covered with paper and I put my pico around and I put a piece of chipboard underneath the card and also some uh, cheesecloth. Here I had this tiny little um, paper doily. I cut half and put here, half put here. And then some flowers from, I don't remember the name. So let's open inside and see what's in there. So, so you know how much I like making waterfall cascades. So I made the book and uh, I made three signatures, as you can see. They have the just regular paper that I kind of crinkled, like copy paper, but the cover is made with um, heavyweight cardstock, and I covered the two sides, so there are three of them. And here I made a waterfall cascade. First of all, I made it as a pocket, so here you see there's a card. I didn't put anything in there because it was pretty tight, so if they want to put pictures in them in there, it'll be really tight, so I didn't want to add anything. So I really am really happy about how the uh, waterfall cascades turned out because they're perfect. Like you pull on this and you see all those nice cards. Amazing. I love making them. And when I, I when I pull on it, I feel like the card's going poof, poof, poof. You can feel it when you're holding this. So that's what I like. By covering the, car, the cards, uh, the waterfall cards with something um, really thick, like uh, heavyweight cardstock or paper collection that has thick cardstock makes a big difference. So here I made uh, each one of them, I made a pocket and they have a card in them, a card from the paper collection and I put some trim that I got at Hobby Lobby and inside I put a doily just on the first page so that it's, uh, it's sewn in. three three uh, holes here sewn in, so you have it on each side, and here you just have paper, I haven't done anything with it. If I had had some pink um, Distress ink, I would have done some stenciling, but I don't have any, I don't want to do black or brown, so. 
So that's all it is. And then also on this side, on of the three pages, I put two photo mats and I just uh, covered some of the paper from the paper collection to fill the gaps. And here another one. It's perfect. Oops. So you have to work it in a little bit. There you go. Because it just gets into there. I should have made this this band here just a little bit smaller or not as wide because I like when the last like this corner here when it goes down and then I don't like it when it hits when it has to go underneath the card the not the card the band here the strip so I should have made that just like one millimeter smaller so next time I'll but it's, it's pretty perfect according to me. And here I just used a little button that has a flower pattern on it. And I put a little piece of ribbon and I just glued it with hot glue. And that's it. So I thought uh, I should share this because I'm going to my craft fair uh, in about an hour from now. And uh, I think it's going to sell. So I, I said to myself, I have to make this video before I leave. So there it is. If you liked it, you can press on the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do so right now because you're going to see more and more uh, tutorials uh, and uh, share videos of projects that I've done. So I'm not, I didn't do a tutorial on this one, but if I make another one, if I sell this one, I'm going to make another one and I might do the tutorial because it's really easy. So I could do that for sure. So if you want it, just uh, ask me on the comments. If you have any questions, just ask me too. And also I can make a little video if you have any question that I can explain with a video. I'm happy to make that, to do that for you. So just ask and then uh, I'll be happy to uh, answer your questions. So until next time, happy scrapping. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.